Now this is a straightforward question. The question is resorption of root of primary incisors starts at. So uh, the resorption of the primary incisors will occur only when the formation of the crown of the permanent counterpart has been done and they start erupting. Okay. So uh, as we know the incisors are the second permanent teeth to erupt after the molars of course. Now uh, if I give you a diagrammatic representation about it, suppose this is a lower arch and we have our primary central incisor here. Okay, I'll just take example of one of these. So we have primary central incisor here and the position of the bird which is going to form your what? Your successional tooth or your successors, right? So this is known as successional lamina. Successional lamina and this successional lamina is situated lingual to the primary teeth okay so actually the development of the permanent teeth occurs in a lingual position to the primary or deciduous counterpart so this is an important question which we have to remember now if we want the tooth to come uh, at the exact position as that of your uh, prior, uh, deciduous tooth then we have to move the successional lamina or the uh, after the successional lamina has formed the crown here for example so when the crown is formed now this has to move buccally first okay and when it moves buccally it will cause resorption it will cause resorption at the lingual aspect of the root right so lingual aspect of the root will be resolved first and then it will move upwards. So it will acquire a position after resolving the lingual aspect of the tooth. The permanent tooth will acquire a position just apical to the resolved root of your its central, uh, the primary counterpart, right? Now, after it has acquired a position of its predecessor, okay, then it will move upwards or coronally, okay. If it is uh, for the central uh, maxillary central incisor, it will be moving coronally, of course. And then it will be coming to a particular position where the its predecessor was. Now, certain times what happens, the permanent tooth does is failed to move in buccal direction and it erupts directly upwards, and that is the reason we have retained deciduous. Okay, so we have retained deciduous as well as functional tooth and we'll see two teeth okay one will be deciduous that will be uh, situated buccally and the permanent will be situated uh, lingually okay so that is the reason for that also now uh, this is the whole concept behind the eruption and how the resorption occurs so once the permanent tooth crown has been developed and it starts erupting it will start resorbing your root okay resorption will start and in case of incisors, the resorption starts at an age of 4 years and it will keep on resorbing the roots. It will keep on resorbing the roots until it reaches a position where the anchorage of the tooth is lost. Anchorage of deciduous is lost. And when, when it is lost, it will get exfoliated and the exfoliated tooth after it is exfoliated we make space for the eruption of your permanent tooth and immediately the tooth at this at the time of exfoli exfoliation will be at verge of eruption out of the oral cavity so the tooth is exfoliated at an age of six years in case of incisors okay so these are two important dates uh, the time period the four years for the starting of the resorption of the primary center incisors for primary incisors and six years is the time period at which the teeth exfoliates and the permanent counterparts are at the verge of eruption. So these are certain concepts which are important for the exam. Let's go through the explanation. So here the incisors are the second permanent tooth to emerge in the oral cavity. We have already discussed and we also know that for the permanent central incisors to erupt in the correct position, we need the exfoliation of the primary center incisor and that occurs by a process known as the resorption of the deciduous tooth 
which initiates at an age of around 4 years and that is our question also. Now after the resorption starts, the permanent tooth will try to adopt a position, uh, the follicle will try to adapt and position to uh, exactly that of its uh, predecessor so that it can adapt in the correct position. Now its influence on the primary root is evident because it caused the eruption of the tooth. Now the developmental position of the permanent incisors as we have already discussed are lingual to the deciduous incisors and that is why they will uh, first move buccally and resolve the lingual aspect of the roots right and then later they will occupy an apical position so that they can erupt in the correct position. So this is all about the whole uh, eruption sequence or we can say the eruption methodology or physiology of eruption uh, of the incisor. So, uh, our question was direct that is a factual based question resorption of root of primary incisors starts at the answer will be 4 years and if they ask the exfoliation of primary uh, incisors occurs that will be around 6 years. So, this is the answer the 4 years.